Namaste Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Happy birthday, Scorpio. We're going to do a reading for Scorpio for Mercury retrograde. The new moon starting October 27. Also, we have Mercury retrograde and Scorpio season. Okay? So, Scorpio, we're going to do a longer extended reading for you guys as well as all of the zodiac signs because of the retrograde. So regarding love. So let's see what Scorpio have regarding love. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, a lot of water energy that's gonna take part for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Underneath the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, Cancer, Capricorn, um, Virgo. In reverse, so you might have been dealing with a relationship, a stable relationship that's no longer stable. Okay? So just bear with me. I'm doing all the readings today. So I'm still fasting. I didn't eat. So sometimes if the words and verses that I'm expressing come out choppy, just bear with me. Okay? What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love. What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, Scorpio, past love. Okay. Let me see where I'm supposed to hold this card. Okay, here. Past love. Scorpio, this is a past love, a union. Six of Cups, someone is coming back from the past. They said that the Scorpio energy people are returning from the past. This is the only card I received. And the upright about someone coming from the past. <laughs> That's good. Everyone, cards have been coming out reversed. What do we have for Scorpio? Whoa, okay. So someone is single. Scorpio. This could be you or someone else. Cancer, I mean, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. That can be your energy. What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the devil has been showing up in everyone's reading. What do we have for Scorpio? Ooh. All of these cards flew out. You showed up. The death card. Scorpio, this is your energy. The death card showed up. You reversed. So, um, perhaps in love you're mad at someone. Or someone made you mad. We're going to pick up all these cards. You have the Three of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse. You have options. Wow, the Ace of Cups in reverse, Scorpio. The Fool. Seven of Cups having options. The Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups. So perhaps you want to offer a new love with someone. With the, score, with the Fool card, a new beginning. You might have a new beginning regarding love. So you might have ended a relationship with the Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Now, look at this devil. This devil ain't playing. You see that? Devil showed up. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you this. The devil showed up and your reading reversed. Everyone else reading this devil showed up upright. So because this card is reversed, it's still not saying it's good either. It's still bad. So you have the Ten of Wands here. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Someone coming in with a passionate offer of love. You have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is your energy and the upright position. You have the Eight of Cups, someone walking away from a passionate love. Someone walked away or you walked away from someone that you loved. The Knight of Cups. There's a lot of people here. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the Two Pentacles, like I said, a lot of people, someone was juggling a relationship. Third party relationship. You have the two, two of pentacles. Someone's juggling. Someone's cheating. Now, Scorpio, you know you always out there. I'm not trying to give you a bad name, but listen. You, Scorpio, is hard to, to trust. You are out there cheating or whatever you're doing. So you're definitely dealing with another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this is your energy heavenly honing in, coming into this reading because you have the, two, the three of cups, the seven of cups options. And the Ace of Cups. And then you have the, the Ace and the Ten of Wands. Is someone coming in with a passionate new offer. 
So you perhaps broke up with someone and is now um, coming in to offer a relationship. You're walking away from a past love and, and enter a new love. So the new moon is about beginnings and endings. So let's see. Let's ask spirit. Why do we have the king, the six of cups here? A lot of people here. And you have the chariot. So someone is moving away from some relationship or traveling. Okay. Someone is moving away from this relationship. The six of cups. This is a past love. Okay. Someone is moving. That's a cancer card. Perhaps you're dealing with the cancer. So if you are uh, cross watching, go read the cancer reading. Why do we have the nine of pentacles, the hangman Pisces energy here? Okay. This is someone who's spiritually thinking about what they want to do. Okay. So why do we have the nine of pentacles here for Scorpio? Are you single? No. <laughs> are you single? When I said, are you single? The three of cups showed up. Somebody's juggling two relationships and someone is going to be become single because someone is not going to be playing. Why do we have the death card here for Scorpio in reverse? This is your energy, Scorpio card. Why is the death card here for Scorpio? And we have the eight of swords and the five of wands. So someone has to fight. The death card is an ending. You're fighting with... You're fighting with someone. So, you might be fighting with the Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. About some kind of love. Someone's cheating. Someone got caught. Someone got caught. That's why the devil is next to it. Why is the devil here um, for Scorpio in reverse? Spirit. Why is the devil here for... um? Scorpio in reverse, was it? Yup, there you go. You have the tennis woods for the devil. Someone has, someone will or has been stabbed in the back. Someone has been deceived. Deception. So during this retrograde, someone is gonna be in pain for perhaps with the relationship and because it's in retrograde you're going to feel it you're going to feel the raft of this pain let's see why is the knight of cups we have all these people on the bottom why is the knight of cups here for scorpio sun moon rising and venus who's the knight of cups why is it here why is the knight of cups here for scorpio regarding love let's use the writer's weight we use too many of these Okay, this is a writer's weight deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why do we have the Knight of Cups for Scorpio? So I'm rising in Venus spirit. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Hangman Pisces. <laughs> and that could definitely be a Pisces because the Cups, the Knight is a Pisces card. It's a young Pisces, someone who is immature. You might be dealing with another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who um, might want a new beginning with you, as well as the hangman. You have the hangman here twice. Look at this. I just noticed that. You have the hangman in between this night. So you might be dealing with a Pisces, um, Scorpio. A Pisces is in love with you, or you might be thinking about a Pisces. Let's see the Eight of Cups for the Eight of Cups is someone who's wa who walked away. So let's see. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Scorpio Spirit? Who's the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? For um, a Cancer, the Chariot, and Deception. You walked away from someone who has been um, deceiving you. You found out some secrets. Or they walked away from you. This is the Cancer card. Okay, Scorpio, you're dealing with a lot of people. A lot of people is in this reading. <clears throat> or perhaps you wanted to travel to this person who walked away from you. 
or someone wanted to travel to you and, and they decided not to. So why we have the King of Cups here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the King of Cups here? Who's the King of Cups for Scorpio regarding love? Who's the King of Cups spirit? Who's the King of Cups for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who's the King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups here, Spirit? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit. Why do we have the King of Cups here? We have the Pisces card. Wow. Scorpio, you're dealing with the Pisces magician. Someone manifested this. Someone put some magic on you to keep you or you wanted to keep someone the ten of wands why is the ten of wands here for scorpio wow the star the ten of wands someone wants to take their time to water the garden to come in this is aquarius someone wants to be a little more lighthearted. wow okay you have heartbreak here you have the Three of Swords in Reverse and the Ace of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone is going to deceive you. Who's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? And now looking at this. Look at this Ten of Swords here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. The Ten of Swords is, um, is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And then you have the, the uh, Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords there, right? So that speaks of... Uh, someone who's a crazy Libra Gemini who's going to deceive you. Now, if you look next to the Ten of Swords here, you see the devil. The devil is there. So that's someone you that can't be trusted. So what I'm seeing now with this energy is that you need to be with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Reconcile with them. Justice. Libra energy. What's the overall energy for Scorpio? Wow. Okay, that was quick. Okay, Scorpio, your overall energy is not good. Someone walked away from this relationship, now wants to come back. You have a union that has been broken. And someone has been stabbed in the back. Someone is trying to remove those swords, the ten of swords here. Someone is trying to get past the pain, agony that has... Um, that's into their life okay someone is trying to get past this hurt Aquarius Libra Gemini has been in pain over this relationship or you have been in pain dealing with Aquarius Libra Gemini and you need to move towards karma waters which is the Aquarius I mean which is a Pisces Cancer Scorpio the Pisces Cancer Scorpio is waiting for you they love you but it might be some hidden secrets there but i'm sensing now that with the energy i'm feeling is that a pisces love you or you need to reconnect with the pisces scorpio and this is your reading and namaste